I'm Brad Levitt, president of AFT Construction. Thank you for tuning in to our YouTube channel today. And this is our kickoff, episode one of our Net Zero Iconic Home. Just an amazing build. This is an energy efficient building science house. There's some amazing details, so make sure you stay tuned over the next year as we go through all the episodes and you're gonna see some incredible techniques uh, and details and manufacturers that are participating uh, with a lot of information behind it as to why we are doing this. So welcome again, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, that way you don't miss any of these upcoming episodes. So here we are in episode one of our building science net zero iconic home. Again, this is with professional builder. This is professional builders home of the year. Uh, Mark La Liberté, who's our client, who's building science extraordinaire, who also is the CEO of construction instruction located in Denver. And so just another note for any of you looking to advance your understanding and knowledge of the building industry, especially when it comes to waterproofing and building science, make sure to go sign up at construction instruction. Uh, you can go to their website, you can sign up for a three-day course there in Denver, fly out. It's an amazing experience, definitely worth uh, the investment, and the education is very hands-on. So here on episode one, we're going to speak about the site. So this site is pretty unique. You can see around us, we have this amazing view of the natural desert. We have a private reserve, so this is all private land behind us. And so back here with the natural desert, you'll never have anyone behind us or building on here. Now, as you can see, there's a substantial drop in elevation. We have a very steep driveway as we come up uh, to the project. So a tight driveway as we come up. And then here on the backside, we have this big drop off. So as you start looking at the structural components, and this is similar with a lot of our hillside builds, you're gonna see I'm standing here with some retaining walls. And we have tiered retaining walls. Um, the reason being is that you don't want one wall and it's gonna be 14 or 16 feet tall, right? Uh, for a couple reasons. One, structurally, it can be a little bit difficult to engineer. Uh, most importantly, as you start thinking about keeping that natural terrain and look at the hillside, you want that tier to give a little bit more of an estate look to the home. And so working with our structural engineers, you can see here these walls, although I'm you know just over six feet, six foot two, and these walls are probably about five feet exposed, but these go 10 feet down, or five feet down. These are 10 foot walls, same as down here, we have 10 foot walls. And they range anywhere from um, two feet to 11 feet. And what's interesting about these site walls is one thing you don't notice, of course, is how much is underground, but also the size of the footing. So because of the soil type, you know, it's really important that you have a good soils report. Here in Arizona, we're dealing with different soil types all throughout uh, the county and through the state. And so we could have farmland, we could have rocky soil, uh, expansive soil, caliche and granite, you know, all these different um, different soil types and, and things that impede uh, the home if they're not properly diagnosed and understood, especially when it comes in to engineering. And so with that, we have footings here that are as wide as seven feet. So here at our tallest retaining walls, which is where I'm standing, these two walls, which are our tallest walls, those footings are almost seven feet wide. And that's really gonna hold this hillside, it's gonna hold this house up. So as we get into the ver vertical uh, build in the net zero house, it's gonna give us that, uh, that structural component and then on episode two, we're gonna speak about the, the waterproofing and the drainage mat that we're using as well as the Delta system, which is a huge component because this is really important as we get into uh, just making sure that we don't have any issues with waterproofing, with water, the fluorescence, as you think about that white calcium, you know, calcium deposits, how we prevent that. 